Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, July 4th, 2014. This week, recycling adjustment layers in Photoshop or elements. Sometimes you shoot a series of photos with the same issue for editing. They might be over or underexposed, too light or too dark, or you just might want to convert all of them to black and white. After editing one of the photos, it's really helpful to be able to apply the same setting to the other images in the series. Instead of repeating the same function over and over again, you can just apply the adjustment to the rest of your photos. Here's how. Open at least two photos with the same editing issues. Select one of the photos. And then click the Create a New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon in the Layers panel. Now this will either be at the top or the bottom of the Layers panel depending on your software. It looks like a circle that's half black and half white. Apply an adjustment such as levels, vibrance, hue or saturation, black and white, or a photo filter. To begin with, I'm going to apply a levels adjustment to this photo. You'll notice that a new layer is created above your photo when you create a new adjustment layer. Create more adjustment layers to fix any other issues with your photo. Like I might want to increase the vibrance a little bit. And I might want to apply a photo filter. Look in your Layers panel and you'll see that there's a different layer for each of the adjustments that you made. When you're satisfied, hold down the Control key or on a Mac system the Command key and click on all of your adjustment layers to select them all at once. Now you're going to drag all of those layers onto the other photo that you opened. This applies your adjustments to the second photo. If you need to tweak one of the adjustment layers, you can double click on the adjustment layer icon of that particular adjustment layer in the Layers panel. This brings up the adjustment properties so that you can alter the adjustment without starting all over again. You can also delete or remove one of the adjustments by dragging it to the trash can at the top or the bottom of the Layers panel, or you can simply hide it by clicking on the layer visibility icon which looks like an eyeball on the left side of the layer. Using this technique you can easily apply the same adjustments to the entire set of photos without having to start over from square one each time. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.